Hey guys, welcome back to the Pocket of Game Reviews. Back Pocket Game Reviews. So, we're going to cover the Best Buy Black Friday ad. I'm actually splitting it into two different videos this time, because we're going to have a separate one for tech, like cool gadgets and stuff that's on sale, and stuff I would look at to pick up if I were personally in the market for them, if I didn't already own these things. So we're, we're going to talk about that in a separate video, but this one's all about gaming, the Best Buy Black Friday gaming deals. Oh my god. I hope you're excited, because I kind of am. I really like this time of year. So, for hardware, for gaming hardware, we've got the Xbox One S Madden Bundle, which is a 500 gigabyte bundle that comes with Madden 18 for $229.99. I would not buy that bundle. I'll explain here in one second. The Xbox One S, the 500 gigabyte bundle, is $189.99, whereas Madden is $29.99, making it $10 cheaper if you just buy it separately than with the bundle. So, if you're planning on picking up an Xbox One S, which is a 4K Blu-ray player as well, so that makes this a really good deal for an Xbox One S, it is $189.99 for the 500 gigabyte model. Don't worry, too, if you're like, oh, well, the 500 gigabyte, that's not enough storage. We're going to have you covered here in a second. PS4 Slim, $199.99. The Best Buy ad said nothing about any deals on the PS4 Pro, so I do apologize for that for those of you who were hoping for that. The PS VR GT Gran Turismo Sport Bundle, $299.99. That's actually a really good deal. If you're looking to pick up a PSVR, that's that's a really good deal. Uh, then we've got a Dell Inspiron. So I put one gaming laptop on here. For those of you who might be looking for a gaming laptop that won't really break the bank, they have a Dell Inspiron 15.6 inch with an i5, 8 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 1050 with a 1 terabyte hard drive for $700. It's not bad. It's pretty good. i5 is going to be sufficient enough for your gaming needs. 1050, even the mobile one, should do most games at least at medium. At very least at medium, if not high. Not 4K, though. You ain't getting 4K out of the mobile 1050. Now, into the accessories we go. Controllers for both PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will be starting at $39.99. So if you're needing a new controller, now is the time to pick one up because that's pretty cheap. Astro headphones will be 25% off. From what I understand of the ad, it should be all Astro headphones will be 25% off. Now, for those of you who are looking for some storage options... Western Digita Digital 4TB My Passport hard drive, which is the little portable hard drives. They are a little bit slower than the desktop ones, but a 4TB hard disk drive will cost you $80. That is a steal for a 4TB. If you want to get the desktop version, which typically has a 7200 RPM hard drive inside, making it a much faster hard drive than the 5400 RPM laptop style one that's in the portable drive is for eight terabytes a eight terabyte my book is 129.99 that is redonkulous to get eight terabytes for 130 dollars uh that's that's a deal right there then if you're looking to pick up some micro sd cards and these sales specifically are already on now best buy already has their early black friday deals going on Picked up these two bad boys today for $29.99. 128 gig SanDisk Ultra. $29.99 for 128 gigs. I also had $20 in reward points, so I paid like 40 bucks for 228 gigs. Um, Switch accessories will also, there's going to be some like the new Hori uh, Mario Odyssey controller and some other stuff uh, like the, the Joy-Con charging thing. It's going to be $19.99. So that's, that's it for the hardware. We made it through the hardware. On to the games. Hope you're excited. Hang on. So, 
Call of Duty World War II is on sale for $39.99. Keep in mind there are other games on sale. These are the most notable of the sales that I found while scavenging through the ad that is leaked. It's $39.99, Call of Duty World War II. Literally just came out last week. That's a good deal. Assassin's Creed Origins also just came out not that long ago. $34.99. South Park, The Fractured But Whole, $34.99. Forza 7, $34.99. And Need for Speed, I don't know the name of the new one because I stopped caring about Need for Speed, but for those of you who do, it'll be $34.99. All right, on to the next price class we go. Destiny 2, $29.99. WWE 2K18, that is the newest one, by the way, $29.99. Overwatch, Game of the Year Edition, $29.99. That's a good deal. If you haven't played Overwatch, pick yourself some Overwatch up. That also comes with some loot boxes. I believe it's like 10 loot boxes to get you started. Madden 18, $29.99. NBA 2K18, $29.99. FIFA 18, $29.99. On to the next price class we go. Skyrim. That's the new enhanced one for the Xbox One and the PS4. $24.99. Grand Theft Auto V, $24.99. That game has really held its value, hasn't it? Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, $24.99. Wolfenstein 2, $29.99. Near Automata, or however you say the last part of that name, $24.99. The Evil Within 2, $24.99. Forza Horizon 3, which is my favorite Forza to date, $24.99. Next price class we go. Resident Evil 7. 1999, Uncharted 4, 1999, Horizon Zero Dawn. This is one of the best games this year. If you've not picked it up and played it, you should. It is 1999. Uncharted The Lost Legacy. That's the new Uncharted expansion that's like huge and pretty much its own standalone game. Just came out a few months back. 1999. Ghost Recon Wildlands, 1999. I don't really know if that's any good or not. Can't really tell you. I didn't play it. Kingdom Hearts HD, that's the 1 and 2 remaster for the PS4, is 1999. And Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire are 1999. Then we go into another price tier down here For Honor, 1499. Uh, it's a good thing that went down too because. If you tried to buy all the microtransactions, you'd be bankrupt. Mafia 3, $14.99. You should pick that up at that price. Look, you might not have played it because people said it was repetitive. It was a really good game. It had a really good story, and it depicted a lot of things from that time period that are very touchy subjects very well. $14.99 is a great deal for that. Mass Effect Andromeda. At $60, this game would be... Not worth the $60, but at $14.99, it's worth the $14.99. So you might want to pick up Mass Effect Andromeda as well. And also, if you don't own this yet, I'm slightly disgusted if you have an Xbox. But Halo 5 is $14.99. Then there are some other games like the Uncharted uh, Collection, which is $14.99. Ratchet and Clank, uh, which is $14.99. And The Last of Us Remastered, which is $14.99. 99. So, Switch games. I put the Switch games in the class of their own because they're just kind of separated. So, Bomberman, $24.99. I don't, I, that's probably the most I would honestly pay for that game. I wouldn't buy it because it's made by Konami, but if you were going to pick it up, $24.99 not a bad price, probably for what it is. 1 2 Switch, $24.99. So, it's a fun game. If you're drinking, it's even more fun. Or if you're watching your kids play, they find it hilarious. Sonic Forces, $24.99. Uh, Rayman on the Switch, $19.99. And Lego Worlds on the Switch, $19.99. I was really hoping to see like some discounts on like Xbox Live or PSN. 
but it, they were uh, they don't have them listed. Keep in mind, some of these categories also state more games available than what is shown. Um, and I did skip some of what was shown because I didn't feel that it was even noteworthy. So there are some games I was just like, no, that's trash. Uh, some of those games I still don't really like that are on that list. I did it because I know a lot of you guys like those games. By the way, if you like this video and you like the deal videos, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. That'll, that'll make me keep wanting to do these, and I might do more than three stores that I typically do if you drop those likes. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you're looking forward to picking up this Black Friday game-wise. I'd love to see what you guys have your eye on. There's a couple items on that list I have my eye on. Um, obviously, though, I'm going to be picking up more Nintendo stuff because of my kids. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to click subscribe. You can also click that little bell. It'll let you know when I upload videos. And you can be a part of the super cool, awesome, secret notification squad. It It's that cool. Trust me. Also... Uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'll have plenty more content coming for you, so stick around.